Hello, Millie. Hello, Sal. We're ready to get started. So just uh, hang on. Welcome, everyone. My name is Dr. Kurt Fisnick, and today I'm going to be covering the sizzle compensation plan. I really want to help you understand how the sizzle compensation plan can be used to build a nice, leveraged residual income. Before I get into it, really what I want to try and do is, is get you to understand that, that when you're talking to people about income and about careers, about jobs, about making money, remember that most people really don't understand how a multi-level marketing company works, how a multi-level marketing company compensation plan works. Most people don't understand um, much about this because they really haven't been exposed to it. They know that some people get involved with these, you know, um, pyramid schemes or, or, you know, and that's what they call them. And it's kind of shaped like a pyramid. So I can see why they call it that. I mean, here you are up at the top and then you build your group like this and it gets wider on the bottom if you're building it right. So I can see why they call it, you know, a pyramid scheme. But, you know, like Tom says, everything is really kind of a pyramid scheme. Look at the Catholic Church. You have the Pope on the top. Then you have the, the, the cardinals and the bishops and, you know, and everybody all the way down to uh, the, the parishioners down on the bottom. And you, you look at the look at government, central government. You got the president. You got Congress. You know, you got all these individual people. And it builds down like a pillar pyramid. Look at a traditional business. Same thing. You got the business owner. You got the board of directors. You have the, you know, uh, upper level management. You have the, you know, lower level management. And then you have the people working. Everything's a pyramid. Uh, it has to work that way unless you're a one man show or one woman show, depending on how you look at it. And, and so when we're talking about a compensation plan, with a network marketing company, uh, probably the, the thing that you, you want to understand when you're explaining it to people is understand that they don't really understand much about it at all. They know that when they go get a job, they, uh, they go in and they, they ask their, their new boss when they're applying for the job. Um, they ask, you know, what are, what are you hiring me to do? So they want to know, what do I need to do? Then they ask, how often do I have to do it? So how many hours a day? How many days a week? How many days a month? How many days a year? How much time do I get off? What's the benefits? You know, how much do I get paid? And then they decide if they want to take that job based on those things. So when you're explaining sizzle to someone, when you're explaining network marketing to somebody, Understand that and explain it to people in the same way so it makes sense to them. So it gets into their head. So you don't want to jump right in and say, well, you go out and you sign up people. Because to them, then it sounds like what they've been told is that you're going to get people to sign up on, on, on something. And, and that's not really necessarily true when, when you're looking at what we're doing is that you know, uh, we get paid to help other people build teams. And what do these teams do? Well, they help other people go out and build teams. So does that make sense? So some people might say to me, well, Kurt, you know, your job is, is selling product. No, well, not really. Not really. I mean, if, if I had to base my income strictly on selling product, I wouldn't make much of an income because each month I might sell, you know, a couple thousand dollars with a product. I mean, and, and so if I'm selling a couple thousand dollars with a product and I even got paid, let's say I got paid 50% commission, I'd be making, you know, less than $1,500 a month. Come on. No, that's not what I do. That's not what I do. So we don't, we don't sell product. But what we do is we consume product. We find a company that we're interested in. We're interested in, in consuming their products. 
and we're looking for other people that are interested in consuming their product. And then what we do is we build pe- teams of people who want to go out and find other people who are, are interested in consuming the products themselves. That's why you'll hear me say, you want to be your own best customer. I go through, you know, six, seven hundred dollars worth of product a month just by myself. Then on top of it, I pick up products for my kids. I pick up products for my my dog. My dog, he can't be a distributor. So I buy his products. He doesn't have a thumb, so he can't order his own. So each month, you know, I'm I'm ordering a thousand dollars of product for the people around me. Not people that I'm selling product to. It's people that, you know, I mean, I don't sell it to my mom and dad. They're on the product. They buy the product from me. They pay me what I pay for it. I'm not making money off them. My dog, he doesn't even pay me what I pay for it. He just uh, consumes it. He just consumes the product. So I hope that makes sense. That makes sense. So you're going out and you're finding people. So let's say that you're going to try and explain it to you. And I'm trying to get this in your head so that, that it makes sense so that you can uh, go on and explain it. When, if you go to say McDonald's and you like a Big Mac and a chocolate shake, fries, whatever you happen to like, I don't like McDonald's, but I just use that because everybody around the world knows what the, you know, the big arches, the M stands for. I mean, kids know that before they can even talk probably, but if you go there and, and you buy a Big Mac and you like the Big Mac, do you think, oh man, I want to, I want to own a McDonald's someday? Probably not. Probably not. In fact, most people that own McDonald's, you know, the McDonald's franchises, the stores, they probably order, they are probably order open uh, multiple stores and they probably don't even consume their own burgers. They probably go somewhere else to eat, but they own the McDonald's because billions of people have been served and billions of people know what those big arches stand for. And, and, and a lot of money is made there. <laughs> so it's not because they have the world's greatest hamburgers that they, they know they have, they have a, a business that knows how to make and serve and, and make money. But so when they buy McDonald's, they buy the franchise they train other people how to make the burgers. They get other people to come in and buy the burgers. Then they go out and open up another store and they do the exact same thing. So in my case, what do I do? I'm training people how to train other people, how to train people, how to own their own business. And our business happens to be in the business of helping other people own their own business. Make sense? All right. And people say, well, but there's got to be products. Yeah, the product is the product that you consume yourself. I hope I'm making sense. And I'm going to keep talking about this month after month until I get it uh, uh, down in your head. But so this is the this is the compensation plan training that I put together um, a month ago. And I decided that I liked it. I liked how it flowed last time. I'm going to go through it again. How do you make money? Well, we make money with something called leveraged income. So. For example, um, I know Andrea. I got Andrea interested in joining the business. Andrea knew um, her friend Elizabeth. So I leveraged Andrea to go out and get her friend Elizabeth to join our business. Does that make sense? So that's the leveraged part of it. It's not a bad thing because I'm going to help Andrea and now I'm committing to helping Elizabeth and I'm going to help uh, Dr. Kim and I'm going to help, you know, Dr. Linda and, and in all the people in that line, that's what I've committed with my business. So when you get started, the business isn't, the goal isn't to sign people up because your work starts after you sign them up because your goal is to help them leverage the people that they know to help those people get started so that they can get into business as well. And then the product that they consume, you get paid a commission on that. Make sense? So the residual income is based on how good are the products? How good are the products? 
Well, in our case, we know the products are some of the best on the planet. We have the best anti-aging. I tell people we are the premier anti-aging company. In my opinion, there's nobody better. They have nobody has better products than what we have right here. So we get residual income because those people that we're leveraging continue to come back month after month after month, and we get paid a commission on that. We get paid bonuses, which I'll go over, just like you would in a, in a traditional business when you do a good job, okay? So comparing it again, to a traditional business. What do you have to do? Well, you're going to go out and find other people who want to stay healthy. That's the consumption of the product. You get paid a commission based on the number of products that they take and they like to use month after month after month. So that's where your commission comes in. But you also get paid a commission when you leverage those people and you teach them how to help other people build businesses. And along the way, you're going to find people who don't want to be in the business but they just want to buy the products. They're your consumers. They're, they're your customers. And everybody's going to have customers. You're also going to have distributors who are basically kind of upgraded customers. Make sense? All right. Let's get started with the compensation plan training. So with Sizzle, we're positioning ourselves in what I consider three growing fast growing markets. So there's never been a time in history when there's been so many people, elderly people over the age of 65, people are aging all around you. Look around you. People are aging, but people don't want to look old. They don't want to feel old people. My generation, the baby boomers, right? You hear about the baby boomers. We want to live forever and we don't want to look or feel like we're old. People are nervous about getting older because they are trained to think that for some reason they're going to be sick or sore or tired as they get old. And so we've got a great um, way of getting into that market because we can say, Hey, look, you know, Jan, John, Bill, you don't have to feel old. You don't have to look old. In fact, anti-aging, regenerative medicine, age reversal, whatever you want to call it, is the fastest growing branch of medicine. A recent Gallup poll last month, uh, September 2019, said that most people don't trust the healthcare system right now. They don't trust their doctor. They don't trust their clinic. They don't trust the hospital. They might trust you. You're their friend. They have no reason not to trust you. So when you present these products, when you present this business, right? It's like saying, hey, I went and saw a great movie. I enjoyed it. You might enjoy it too. Would you give it a try? You see how easy it is to say that? People say to me all the time, what do you say to people? That's what I say. Would you try it? Here's a sample of the hydrogen water. You know, the anti-aging, the regenerative medicine business is growing so quickly that even Mayo Clinic is jumping into it. They're saying right now that they will become one of the top anti-aging clinics in the world. Think about that. Mayo Clinic is getting into anti-aging. It's going, it's going mainstream. Uh, Public Radio had a program just uh, the last week uh, here in October, and I was listening to it. You know, they, they interviewed Dr. David Sinclair from Harvard Medical. It's mainstream. It's not, you know, that little niche market anymore. It's everywhere. So when you go presenting this business to people, you know, if I'm talking to Sally and I say, hey, Sally, you know, down in Australia, do people want to get older any faster? She's going to say, no. I'm going to say, do people want to look old? No. I'm going to say, great, let me show you something. Right? That's how easy it is. And then you watch or you listen, you watch for those, those visual or auditory clues that tell you that someone might be interested or maybe they're not. You know, if someone says to me, 
Yeah, Kurt, you know, uh, is this one of the, you know, at that point, I'm going to decide for them that it's not the right time. I'm going to take it away. I'm not going to even give it to them. I'm going to say, oh, yeah, I didn't think you'd have any interest in it. And I'm going to move on because I don't want to have to somehow convince people because the next time I see that person, now they're going to feel like I'm chasing them. And you don't want to feel like you're chasing somebody because the faster you chase them, the faster they run. All of a sudden they start to avoid you where if you just do the takeaway, they're there for the next time. You might present it to them six months, a year down the road. Yeah. You could even ask him, you could say, Hey, Sally, I know this isn't for you right now. You know, the timing's not right. Uh, but could I talk to you about it again, say in six months? And of course you're going to say, sure. Cause you're hoping that I'm going to forget, but I'm not going to forget because I'm going to take my cell phone and I'm going to put in the cell phone in the calendar. Talk to Sally in six months. So six months from now, say around March, April, I'm going to have it pop up on my calendar. Hey, talk to Sally again. Sally, I know you're, you're thinking, why am I picking on you? <laughs> because, you know, the home-based business is expected to have a huge surge in the next six years. That's what the experts are saying. They're saying that this industry is expected to climb tremendously in the next six years, you know, by the year 2025. And then you take a look. The CBD industry is expected to hit $22 billion by the year 2022. That's three years from now. What if you just positioned yourself in those three markets? Right? Nod your head with me. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Don't, don't try and learn all the details about all the products. You know, that'll bog you down. Analysis paralysis. It'll slow down your growth. This is one of those businesses that you want to learn as you earn. And you'll hear me say that. You know, preferred customers. Some people just want to take the products. I mean, when you're talking to them, you know, I don't have to really even talk to my mom and I can say, oh, you just want to be a customer. Other people, when you mentioned about making money, being in the business, they jump at the chance because they understand it. They see those markets, but you got to present the market. They'll see it. Get it across them. Some people just want to have improved, improved longevity. They want to have better health. There's no annual fee to be a customer. There's no monthly requirements. These are all things that you want to point out. So if somebody says, eh, you know, I, I, you know, I'm not good at sales. Hey, you just want to be a customer. See? You're in 25% and your upline learns 3% on all the preferred customers. So if you're the upline, Sally, if I, if I help you get into the business and you're in my seven levels, you're going to make the 25%. I'm going to make the 3%. 3% doesn't sound like much, but if I'm leveraging Sally to go out and find her friends and family that want to take the product, that's 3%. If I, if I can help Sally find 3000 customers, and they're all buying, you know, uh, say a hundred dollars worth of product, three thousand times times uh, times a hundred, right? That's three hundred thousand dollars in volume. I make three percent on that. That's a nice paycheck, right on. Let's go do that, Sally. So, what about distributors or brand partners, whatever you want to call them? I know some people don't like the word distributor, so let's just say brand partners. So these are people who want to make enough money uh, to maybe pay for their product. Maybe they, they just say, oh, you know, I don't have enough money to pay for that product. I like to do this business because I can get the product for free. I have lots of people that do that. Lots of people. You know, <clears throat> for people who want to do this and they want to make a lot of money, they learn how to do it as well. Then they just do it a little bit more aggressively. They do it a little bit more often. They put a little bit more time into it. But for people who want to join this business, they want to join Sizzle to make any amount of money. If you want to make $20 a month, if you want to make $20,000 a month, join as a wealth builder. Join as a wealth builder. In my opinion, there's no other way of, of joining it because it's, it's less than $500 for a startup pack. 
You're opening up all the different levels of the compensation plan. You're not leaving anything on the table. It's a lifetime deal. It's a one-time package that you never have to buy again. But it opens up all the doors to the compensation package. Um, and you, you can earn additional bonuses through the wealth builder. And we'll go through that a little bit. I won't cover it in detail because I think that Milo covers that uh, on Monday nights very, very well. But you can earn up to $150 for every new team member that you enroll under the wealth builder system. And that's a nice commission. That's a nice commission, you know, right around 40 to 50%. Well, you know, if you bring somebody on board and you're making 40 to 50% on, on, on their product order, that's not so bad. And then you can get paid up to infinity in depth and in width with this wealth builder plan. And, and, and so folks, I'm not going to get into it any more detail than that. Uh, if you want to know the details of the wealth builder plan, jump on the training given by Milo Acosta from corporate every Monday night, Monday night, United States. So, so once you get these uh, uh, people going and, and what you're going to do is you're going to concentrate on finding the business partners. You'll find customers. <laughs> you don't have to really go looking for customers. You, you, you want to go and look for the business partners, the brand partners, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to tell you that you want to get that return on your investment. You want to get your money back. So what you want to do is you want to go out and find three new business building partners as soon as possible. That first month, doing the first four weeks. And serious business building partners, they understand the fact that you have to buy a compensation package like the, the wealth builder. You, if, if they don't understand that part of it, chances are they're not really one of your, one of your business building partners. And you might want to consider just saying, hey, hey, you know, maybe you'd rather just be a customer for now understand the product. You know, if somebody says, oh, you know, I'm going to have to learn all the products in detail and all that, then maybe what you want to do is you want to sign them up as a customer. I mean, again, instead of making 7%, you're going to make 25%, right? And you're not trying to convince them into doing it. You're actually doing the takeaway, you know, the takeaway. You want to see that again? The takeaway. So in traditional business, you have overhead. When I ran my clinic, I had to make $30,000 just to cover my overhead, to pay my doctors, <clears throat> my nurses, my staff, to pay the rent, to pay the heat, um, supplies, all those different things. In this business, you want to do a 300 PV qualifying order every single month. Let me say that again. You want to do a 300 PV qualifying order every single month. If you're serious about doing this as a business, even if you just got started today, you want to do a 300 PV qualifying order because now you're going to have products that you can hand out as samples. I just uh, uh, put put a uh, notice out there the other day that uh, people can get a hold of me. I'll give them uh, samples of the hydrogen water. I'll bet by the end of November, I've handed out uh, probably close to 100 uh, uh, of the hydrogen water sample. Right? There's 30 per packet, so that means I'm going to go through three and a half packets just as samples. You know, think about that. That sets an example for the team. Me just saying that, you probably have lights going off in your head saying, man, I should do that, right? It builds, it builds business volume for you. It builds business volume for your team as well. And then you want to consume the products. And I'm telling you, folks, you're going to want to be on every single product that we have. If you were making um, an unlimited income, is there any product that you wouldn't buy? No, you buy them all and you, you take a double dose of some of them. Like I am, I'm telling you, you would. I mean, I take three of the TSX every single day. You should too. So here's what you want to do is that you want to take and you want to build yourself three teams and you want to help them build three teams as well. And I'm going to show you why um, we start out with a concentration on three. You don't want to stop at three, but <laughs> three is an easy number. Most people can build three. I mean, if I asked you, if I said, you know, hey, Millie, I'm going to pick on you now, Millie. Do you know three people who might want to not get older any faster? Millie, do you know three people 
who might want to have a little bit of an extra income, maybe a thousand dollars a month. Did you know that that a thousand dollars a month it might save uh, close to fifty percent of 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 the um, of bankruptcies in your country? Fifty percent. It's a lot. Maybe more than that. It's not hard to make a thousand dollars with this. So, as you continue to build those three teams, you help them find their three. Right, you're going to help them find their three, and this is key. You're not going to help them build their business, right? You're not going to build it for them. You're going to help them, and so I really want to stress that, and I want you to stress that because when you when you, when when you tell somebody that um, you're gonna you're gonna help them build their business like that, they think, oh, you're going to give me some people. Cause we've all been in those business where they say, Oh, you know, I'm it's one of those businesses where I just put people below you. Well, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you as you build your business. Right? So we start out with three, but we're looking for more. So you want to go as wide as possible, but you want to, you want to build your, your structure at least seven levels deep and you want to fill it in. <laughs> you want to help everybody find three who finds three and then you build it that way. Okay. So fill in the three by three by three by three. Does that make sense? You're helping everybody fill in the three by three by three. And if you do that along the way, there's going to be somebody who's going to go, holy cow, what if I go seven wide? Okay. That's awesome. If you want to do that, Millie, Sally, all of you that are on the call. Perfect. So let's look at what happens when you build a, a seven levels deep and you just build three teams. Because this is something that, that we want to do. So don't just stop there. You can earn more. Uh, the wider you go, you don't, you don't stop earning. Uh, you, can, you can build as wide as you want. And with the, with the uh, Wealth Builder plan, you really, only, you really start getting paid on your fourth leg anyhow. So the Wealth Builder really kicks in on your fourth person, your fifth person, your sixth person. But try and build everybody three wide minimum seven levels deep so as you go three wide seven levels deep you get paid seven percent commission on all those orders and those team levels um you earn bonuses you own uh you earn uh, other things on your rank uh you can get vacations you know i've gone to mexico i've gone on a cruise i've gone to europe some of you have gone on those as well Plus, for those people who just say, you know what, I'm not interested in the business, but I'll sure try those products. You know, you make 25%, but if you go out and, and you sign up the customer, I make 3%. Hey, I like that. Let's go find some more customers. People who want to be happy and healthy. But look at this. Here's our Unilevel Commission. And again, what we're talking about is we're talking about building three wide, just for the sake of the fact that three wide, it's easy to say, and, and from there, your income just goes up. But if I can help you build three wide, seven levels deep, look at what you get paid. So level one, there's three people. If they're, if they're all buying, again, you know, they're all buying the, the 300 PV orders, qualifying orders. You know, a lot of people will do more. But if they're, their, if they're your, your, their business builders, they're going to do at least the 300. So three times 300 is, is 900. So with your volume, the total is 1,200. You get paid 7% on the 900, so you get $84. Okay, that's not so bad, but it's a good start. If you do that in your first month, right, it costs you, you know, uh, about $500 for your, your, for your uh, uh, wealth builder pack. So you've earned some of it back. But month two, here's what happens. You help those three go out and find three. Now you have 2,700 in volume, plus you have the 1,200 in volume that you had before because they continue to spend their 300. So you have 3,900 in volume, 7%, $273, okay? You're still not quite making your money back, but look what happens on month three. If you just kind of think of this in, in months um, as you're building. So now you help those nine people go out and find 27. And this is assuming that you're not finding any more people 
and your your people aren't finding anymore. They're just finding three. They're not finding any uh, customers. But you look what happened. Now your total volume is twelve thousand dollars per month. Okay, you're making seven percent. So now you're making eight hundred and forty dollars a month. I mean, folks, look at that. Month three, you've made up. All of a sudden now, you've paid back your return on investment. And you haven't found more than three people. Again, let's just say that you do this month after month. You're helping those three go out and find three. Everybody's finding three. And in this example, you're not finding any more. 36000 in volume. $2,500 a month paycheck. You do it again. $109,000 a month in volume. Almost $8,000 U.S. dollars in paycheck. Then, folks, you're going to get some nice bonuses on top of this because you're moving up the ranks. You're getting a car bonus. Um, you're getting a matching check bonus, all those other things that we aren't even – that's not even figured into this. Then 327, three, almost 328000 in volume, $23,000 a month paycheck. I mean, come on. Who couldn't live on that? You might have to cut back a little bit. You know, you might have to learn how to be thrifty. But look what happens if you build this just three levels wide and seven levels deep. All of a sudden, you're almost at a million dollars in volume. You're getting paid almost 70000 just in commission. Folks, come on. You found three people. You're helping people find three. This makes sense to me. A leveraged residual income based on finding people who want to stay healthy. They don't want to look or feel old. Is it possible? Well, I was having a discussion with Tom about a month ago, and I said, you know, is there anybody <laughs> in Sizzle right now that's making over $100,000 a month? And he said, yes, there is. Yes, there is. It could be you could be me. I'm not there yet. You know, the lifestyle bonuses, the, the car bonus, it pays up to $1,500 a month, depending on your rank. Rank advancement bonuses. If I um, continue to move through the ranks, I'm a one star. I get paid a bonus. I'm a five star. I get paid a bonus. I'm a 10 star. I get paid a bonus, right? If I'm a double 10 star, come on, folks. Think about it. The infinity bonus, Right. So you don't have to stop on seven levels. You can make up to six percent, depending on your rank, on levels eight, nine, ten, all the way to infinity. The matching check bonus. If I help, if I help my distributors go on make money, I get paid a five to ten percent matching check based on their unilevel commission. Right? I think that bonus right there is, is one of the bonuses that you really should concentrate on because it tells you that you're helping other people. It tells you that you're helping other people. If you're not getting a matching check bonus every month, maybe you should go back and start helping some of the people on your team. The fast start bonus, right? I'm going to go out and help new people get started. I get paid 25% commission on any order that they place in their first month. So they get started, they come in with their wealth builder <clears throat> because I've met their criteria. I get paid uh, $150 when they buy their, their uh, wealth builder uh, package, right? And then they say, hey, but in addition to that wealth builder package, I'd like to have this and this and this product. I mean, people do that, folks. People do that. And there's no reason that you shouldn't have people do that. Buy the wealth builder. It's a business qualifying pack, but you know, Sally, on top of that, I'd really suggest that you take this and this and this product based on what you've told me is wrong with you, based on what you told me what's wrong in your family history, your health history of your family, okay? I get paid a 25% commission if I, if I do that with my new people. You do too. And don't feel bad about it because, you know, I really feel, let's look at it this way. Professional sports people, um, actors, what do they do? They entertain us. 
and they, they're some of the highest paid people on the planet. And all they're doing is making you laugh or making you cry or making you feel good or making you feel bad. Why shouldn't I get paid really well for helping people feel good to help people stay healthy? I mean, come on, you and you and you are helping people stay healthy. You should be some of the best paid people on the planet. Best paid people on the planet. And then Sizzle turns around and they, they say, hey, thanks for being a loyal customer. You've been buying products every month for the last year. We're going to turn around and we're going to give you a, a rebate on all your monthly orders. Plus, we're going to give you a voucher to reimburse you for all your shipping, for all the products that you ordered in this last year. If you qualify, there's some qualifying things. You have to place a certain dollar amount and you have to do it every single month. If you skip one month, gone, you lose it. Get on that, on that auto ship. So you never, ever, ever lose those. So folks, that's how I look at the compensation plan. I, you know, I don't get really in depth. You notice I didn't get in depth. You notice I didn't have any slides. I really didn't draw much of the old bubble thing, you know, the chart with all that. And I don't think you should either. I don't think you need to. I don't think it's necessary. So thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend. Have a great end of the month. Uh, let's go out and, and, and help build some, some businesses and have some fun. Have some fun. Christmas is coming, and I know you want to buy me a really nice gift. Call me. I'll tell you what I need, and uh, and we'll go from there. All right. Bye-bye.